Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. So today I'm coming on just to make a nice quick card. I've got everything prepared at the side of me today because I don't really have much time. So I'm starting off, my base is a five by seven card and I've got a piece of black that I'm going to stick down first. There we go, trying to squeeze this glue, it absolutely kills my hands. How is everybody? Are you all okay? I hope so. Out and about in the lovely sunshine. Spending lots of time in the garden. It's beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. I love it. I love the sunshine. It makes me feel so much better. Okay, so there's my black piece. Next, I've cut... I've used... I'll show you which paper pad I've used. It's this one here. This gorgeous in bloom it's beautiful i've used papers out of there today so i'm just going to do some matting layering really i'm going to start off i've got this spotty piece that i'm going to stick down first the only thing with it is it's double sided so it's having to choose which one you like the best although you do get i think it's two of each paper so it's not too bad but i always find when the double sided paper pads it's hard to choose which one you want to use so I'm just going to sit that down that side of my card and then I've cut a strip of this gorgeous cerise pink that I'm going to sit down. And we will just put that strip just down the middle of my card like that. Then I've cut a pink piece of card and another piece of spotty paper. So I'm just going to put this piece onto my pink card. like so just trying to make sure that I'm straight and then I'm going to stick this piece just down the side there just down there like that and then I've got another pink piece and another piece of spotty paper I'm going to stick this piece onto my pink card And I'm going to stick this piece down using some foam tape, just so there's a little bit of dimension on the front of my card. Oh, my scissors are stuck together. I'll have to make it my job to clean my sticky scissors. I keep putting them away at the end of each crafting and, and forgetting to clean them but they really do need cleaning the ones that I use just for this foam tape they're so sticky okay so I'm going to sit that piece just there like that I'm going to put my card just over here for a minute and I'm going to stamp some flowers and I'm just using this one today it's an apple blossom and it's called April Daisy and I'm just going to use this flower here I'm just going to stamp three flowers and I'm going to stamp it onto this pink card. Just put that there. Okay, so let's just put my stamp down. in this bottom bit here over again sometimes you have to put a lot of pressure on this stamping platform there we go that's fine let's see if we can fit two more on yeah we can no problem put that there go over that again I can see just a little bit there that's not quite stamped I used to have the I think it was the Hampton Arts stamping platform and I think I preferred it to this Tim Holtz one 
Um, I find this quite difficult to use. It's quite hard. You have to press really hard sometimes to get a, a nice impression. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let me just grab a baby wipe and just wipe over my stamp before I move it to one side. doesn't want to come off my stamping platform there we go okay so let's just put that put that up there for a second okay so I'm just going to now just fussy cut around these little flowers let's just close my ink then it doesn't dry up just going to cut around these as quickly as I can one floral stamp I use it quite a lot it's very easy to fussy cut as well which I like about it There's my flowers, let's just, where's the other one gone, there it is, let's just pop this rubbish in the bin. So I'll bring back in my card and I'm just going to sit my flowers just round the side of my card. I'm going to put them on some foam pads just to give them some dimension. I'm going to double up with my foam pads. going to stick these I'm going to put a, another one just have the middle one a little bit higher than the other two I'm just going to sit that there like that and then that one around there and then I just want to stamp a little sentiment I've chosen this one here today this is for the love of stamps it's for happiness blooms and I'm just going to go with this one here you are amazing I don't think I've used this stamp set actually I love my sentiment stamps. I love using these sentiments. Yeah, I've got enough room there. So, just put my magnets down. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Let's just wipe over my stamp again. Okay. Just put my lid back on my ink and then it doesn't get all dry. Put those back. And I'm just going to cut around this sentiment. Actually, I need those little scissors just to cut around here. Um, should I leave it? No, I'll cut around it. going to get one of my black markers and just go around the outside of the pink just a little line highlight it a little bit let's pop those in there so I'm going to set my sentiment just here on the front of my card and again I'm going to use some foam pads I'm going 
going to double up with my foam pads. So I'm just going to set my sentiment just there like that and then I want my pink Nouveau drops which are just here I can get hold of them this one is called rhubarb crumble let's just try it on a little piece of scrap first yeah I'm happy with that so I'm just going to put a little bit of Nouveau drops on the front of my car I'm going to put some in the middle of my flowers And just a little bit on the front. And there we go guys. So there we go guys, that is my card finish for today. As always, thank you so much for stopping by to watch. I'll leave all my details in the description. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you come along and join me. Also, don't forget to hit that little bell, which will notify you when I've got any new uploads. So until my next video, guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.